from the Kolwezi mining district in the Katanga, perched on a matrix of a dollar mite. Just give you a flat view. So standing flat, this is the view we'd have. There's a mild dusting of, of hematite going into girthite across some of these diaptase crystals. Typical associations I expect to find here would be some uh, uh, malachite. Also, what we often have on the on the matrix itself would be micro quartz crystals. Now, so so on a turntable lying or, or actually going around like this, this is a sideways view. You can see these crystals projecting off the matrix and size wise these are substantial for for the, the mineral, for diaptase. Um, of course some may call the diaptase uh, 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 copper emerald, I think is another name for it. This is not a crack, this is actually an internal fracture or a fracture running through the matrix. I think if we'd split it open we might find some more diaptase crystals in there. And of course with a strong lighting you'd have this almost a green glow, this, this dark green, emerald green glow running across the specimen. Size-wise here we're looking at over two inches, width-wise maybe just uh, maybe just on just under two inches, height-wise not that much, under an inch. All the way from the Kolwezi mining district in the Katanga, another masterpiece, simply almost unbelievable, really, really fantastic material.